Let's talk a little pick six contest action, which we missed last week on our holiday show. You know, Kelsey Kramer running around the country, very busy as well. But we're going to bring her in here and talk a little bit of pick six contest action. Kelsey, welcome in. We missed you last week. I know. Happy Thanksgiving. A little late. Yeah, how did we do on Thanksgiving last week? How was our Thanksgiving? Were we mo- roaming around? Were we bar crawling? Like, you know, we, we no. had a show to do last week. Oh, well. No, I was, I had four servings, you know, started early, ended late, um, didn't get drunk, had to work Friday morning. So I was pretty good for once. And look, hey, Kyle's here today struggling through the show as usual, but now at least we have an excuse for it. He's ready to go. <laughs> And I guess we still, we still. I'm going to step out there. I'm going to yeah. step out there and tell this guy to kill it. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Look, Kyle's actually there. So all right. So now we can get into a pick six contest action. Let's start last week since we didn't have you on the show. Do we have a profitable week? Was it good in the pick six contest? How did it wind up for you there last week? Uh, it was good, and well, it wasn't good. I mean, I was I was going to go four and two until that Steelers game. I took the over, but um, they hit the end. That there. was awful. <laughs> almost almost got there at the end with some miracles as it went through. So let's talk about this weekend's games and see what we have to offer here. I know you're taking a look because a couple of weeks ago we saw the New Orleans Saints roll right through the Atlanta Falcons. Now we're getting a replay of that game. Still a healthier options here, or excuse me, a healthy team for the New Orleans Saints, but a more banged up team, it seems like, for the Atlanta Falcons. Are we looking for the Falcons who are playing well under Raheem Morris? Or is this going to be more of the same year, Kelsey, where, hey, man, you can't go against New Orleans. They're playing some really good football out here. I like the Saints. I, I really want to cheer for the Falcons, but it's been hard this season. Um, Julia Jones is expected to be back, but again, that's going to be a game day decision. I think this one is pretty tricky just because there's a lot hanging over the Saints. They need to win this one, but also Raheem Morris, Raheem Morris needs to win this one if he wants a shot at um, interviewing for the head coach position. So... Still, I don't trust the Falcons. It's really hard. I like the Saints here. Um, they're just the stronger, stronger team. I agree. I mean, not re- again, no fans are really going to be in the stands here. That can certainly sway the opinion. I don't know why fans would want to go out and watch the Falcons anyway this late in the year. So I do agree with that pick on the Saints. I do think they win the football game. I'm not trying to outsmart myself on that one. How about the Cleveland Browns traveling down to play Tennessee? Cooler temperatures in the air, about 40 degrees expected here in Nashville. Are you getting all Baker Mayfield up for this one? Or you say, hey, you know what? Tennessee playing good football. I'm going to ride that wave. Uh, I like the Nick Chubb and Derrick Henry matchup we're going to be seeing. Um, But at the end of the day, I like the Titans for this one. Uh, Browns have a banged up secondary, and we saw that last week when the Jaguars almost took over. So I'm rolling with the Titans. There you go. Rolling with it. Kyle, do, are, do, are we still uh, trimming bushes over there? What are we I doing? just told him, turn that thing off for 10 minutes. If I have to go back out there, I'm going to have to bend him over my knee. He's not going to be happy. But, uh, no, I agree. I like the uh, I like the uh, Titans quite a bit uh, this week. And uh, everyone wants to know, it's time to DTBK, dump that bad kicker after missing last week. Holy, time, yeah. time to get rid of Zane Gonzalez. No, nah, sounds good. Here. Oh my God. This one. There you go. See, Kyle's jumping in, messing in segues because we take a look at the next play that Kelsey Kramer is going to dip her fingers into the Rams and the Cardinals looking at a total. And the only thing I could think of is if kickers are missing field goals, you, know, you probably want to go under. And there was a big missed field goal last week that Kyle was beside himself and had to actively test or text during the week to see why kickers are missing field goals. Where are we going in this Rams-Arizona Cardinal game here? Uh, definitely the Rams. Well, I like the under, but I like the Rams too. Still, we don't know what Cardinals team is going to show up or which Zane Gonzalez is going to show up. So I like the um, under Kyle Murray. He looks scary out there. I want to say he, he he's afraid he's afraid to get hit, and I don't know what he's going to do when he sees Aaron Donald Donald coming after him. So uh, I'm taking the under just to I don't know. It's my safe zone. Um, Cardinals have hit it eight out of their eight to three on it. Donnie, stop laughing. And, I got good stuff here. Yeah, go ahead. In the last the, seven matchups, the um, Rams have hit it. So I'm um, trusting the under. Yeah, yeah. see, we, we walk right into this, Kyle, because you're saying like the Rams have hit it and like Zang, you've been waiting two weeks for this, Kyle. So I'll give you some time here. 
Yeah, I mean, Zane Gonzalez, and of course these guys are trying to ruin my glory here with Zane Gonzalez. That's why it's just time to get rid of this damn kicker. Now, you know, we were uh, asking Monday Night Football, the, the most hilarious part about this, just to let everyone behind the curtain, before the Monday Night Football show, Flash legitimately asked me, is Kelsey really dating Zane Gonzalez? <laughs> See, that's how, you, that's how internet rumors start. Good job. <laughs> that's yeah. how it starts. So maybe you could give us a heads up if he's had a bad week and we know he's going to miss those important kicks because we know we can't trust Zane Gonzalez. Time to dump that bad kicker. 45-yarder off to the right, and Arizona took the loss in that one. Let's keep it moving here because of that same game where Zane Gonzalez did miss a field goal. The Patriots are now headed out west to take on the Chargers, who can't get out of their own way. They can't cover for any, you know, forget about the overs in the game. They can't. Getting five versus Buffalo. Oh, my God, we're inside the five, two minutes. Doesn't even matter if they score now for the Buffalo Bills. Well, let's run the football with under 30 seconds left. Didn't work out that well. So looking this week, are we trusting Cam Newton? Or are we going back to Justin Herbert with that fresh cut and Austin Eckler back in the backfield? Who are we going with in this game? I'm not trusting Cam Newton. I'm trusting what's around him. I'm trusting Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick knows how to handle these rookie QBs, and the Chargers' defense blows. Mm. They can't even finish the fourth quarter. So I am Bill Belichick. Kyle? And the pass. Kyle? Wow. Wow, no, I mean, uh, that the Chargers defense does blow. I uh, I agree with that, but uh, it's just tough to trust uh, Cam Newton in that offense. So I lean the Chargers, but I don't blame you. It's an uphill battle. It's an uphill sharp battle. Sharp move coming up here. By the way, Kyle, sharp in this game. I'm looking right here at Kelsey's pick here. We're going up to Seattle again, which we talked about. Danny Dimes and, you know, how that hamstring injury is holding up. Will he be in? Will he be out? Looks like that line is settling in around 10. Did we get a sharp action move here from Kelsey Kramer in this game? Wait for um, Seattle Giants? Yeah. We sure did. We Hi. sure did, and I like the pick. Sorry, this damn blower. I am going to scream bloody murder at these guys when this show is over. I am so pissed. I told them, turn it off for 15 minutes, and what do they do? Come right by my door. It is on and cracking. I'm getting the golf clubs out. I'm going to be a crazy old man, but uh, I love the sharp pick. I'm going to go ahead and hit mute now because uh, these guys want to ruin my day. Yeah, Seattle, I Kelsey, what are we looking at? Go ahead. What are we looking at in this one? Seattle minus seven and a half. Reasoning. Give me. I need a re. I mean, is it Russ? Is it Chris Carson? Did you love the fact they cleaned up my Philadelphia Eagles on Monday Night Football? I mean, is that was that why we're basing this? I do love that, but Russ is looking rusty out there. He needs to get back to cooking. Um, Seattle can win this one. Giants don't. They don't have a QB option. You're getting the hobbled guy or the Mc, McCoy. Yeah. So, I think Seattle. Russell to Metcalf all the way. If he throws it to Metcalf. Um, I no, always, I, I, every, time I say I trust, yeah. every time it's I a great number too. Up, you got it at a great he number at seven and a half. He doesn't perform well, so I'm really just trying to myself. But that's a good number. So, Kyle, what are you doing? Uh, uh, Kyle's, yeah, he. I think Kyle's actually doing. I think he has the guy in front of his desk right now. That's just I'm so to mad. Him. I'm so mad at them right now. I, and I'm like, I don't know how much energy I have to kick these guys, but I'm going to kick them. I'm kicking the landscaper. I know that sounds horrible, but I don't care. I'm the bad guy in a movie. I don't care. Let's talk about San Francisco 49ers action here. Heading down to your neck of the woods here, not playing in Santa Clara County because clearly football players cannot operate in this COVID 19 atmosphere there, but they can operate just a few hundred miles down the road in Phoenix, Arizona. So looking at this game, or Glendale as we would call it, Buffalo and San Francisco, Josh Allen coming to town. Been there before. They don't have too many good happy memories losing on a Hail Mary to DeAndre Hopkins. Do they get back right in this game? Are we going to go with those road warriors here now, the San Francisco 49ers? Nope, definitely traumatizing for the Bills, but I still like them. I know y'all are both on the Niners here, and they're getting um, a lot of their weapons back. But I like Josh Allen in this one. Um, 49ers secondary struggled against mobile quarterbacks, and Bills need to prove himself in that stadium. That was embarrassing. So, mm. and Kyle, were you there to you, were you there to witness that hail mary as well? I wasn't at that one. No, 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 no. No? No, no, no. I was at work. No. I saw it, but I was not at that one. Holding the net for Zane Gonzalez while he was practicing kick, you know, practicing his kicks? Damn it. (laughs) 
I'm just kidding. Uh, this is yeah, it's endless cool. fodder for the rest of the shows here. So we'll go yeah. Saints minus mm-hmm. the we're gonna wrap up Kelsey's picks here. Saints minus three, Titans minus five and a half, Rams, Cardinals under 49, the Patriots minus one, Seattle minus seven and a half, which is awesome. And I hope Danny Dimes plays in that game because I'll be all over that pick with you as well, Kelsey. And the Buffalo Bills at the minus two and a half number. Now I actually agree. With that Buffalo, I mean, it's a little bit lower now, minus ones, but you're still going to have to win the game essentially to get to cover anyway in that one. I trust Josh Allen more than I do Nick Mullins, so I do lean towards that direction as well. But hopefully we get some winning picks this weekend. we got a lot of stuff to talk over because you guys know we come on here Tuesday, Thursday, and then wrap it back up on Sunday and then flip it right back over for our Monday Night Football betting party, which will be that Buffalo Bills-San Francisco 49ers game. Any last words here this week, Kyle? Under the weather, fought through it. Do we have any one-liners left? Any, any? Do I have any one-liners left? Well, it seems like they turned off. Uh, they turned off the leaf blower. But I, I think the one-liner for the week is DTBK. Dump that bad kicker. Let's go Rams. Let's cover that game. I like them quite a bit this week. And uh, uh, now we know when Zane Gonzalez goes out because Kelsey always takes my advice. He's going to be a heartbroken Zane Gonzalez. No. And he's going to miss kicks this week. Go Rams. How about that, Kel? What do you got to say about that, Kelsey? Well, truth be told, I told him to miss so I could get my shot in the NFL. <laughs> there there you right. go. We're going to have you kicking <laughs> off with little squib kicks. Bam, it'll be a hit. It'll be a, a, a true hero story. The, you know, you'll kick it five yards, and there you go. Actually, I believe you could kick it further than uh, than uh, she kicked it. It's a horrible yeah, kick. Or maybe Kelsey can go in and give a half t- halftime speech to the Arizona Cardinals, just like the Vanderbilt yes. kicker did as well. So 